G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be doing a q and I know, bit of me, me, me time. What a shame. Uh, the last couple of videos I've asked for you guys to send questions and you have. The people have responded. Crawf, Shane Crawford I assume, wrote, getting AFL Evolution, if so what console? Yeah Crawf, I play um, on PS4 and I actually did get sent a copy already. Um, I've actually got it here. Of course I don't have one. Why? Why would I? JC2Games wrote, <clears throat> if you got a chance to play AFL for any AFL team besides Melbourne Demons, what team would it be? I don't know. I love, I love going to the MCG, so I assume I would like playing on it. So, Richmond, Collingwood, one of those sides would be good fun. Zachary Milney wrote, best moment of your life. Jeez, that's deep. Probably when I had my, um, my first kid. That was pretty crazy. Um, just seeing it pop out. I don't have a kid, guys. <laughs> Probably one of the early highlights of my life was when um, last year I got my voice put on an ad for the Fox. This is Tune In To Win. Buddy D here, we have Emma on the line. Emma, are you ready to play Tune In To Win? Oh my gosh, I'm scared, but I think I can do this. All right, Em, pay close attention because here comes the sound. Have I been looking for a time to put that in a video and show everyone? Yes, I have. Oh, I have. James wrote, best moment since starting YouTube. Um, great question, James. Probably, there's been a couple, couple of moments where um, I'll be at uh, an establishment that I, I go to quite regularly. <clears throat> These two guys, probably like 23, 24, a little bit older than me, patted me on the shoulder and goes, oh, do you do the Facebook videos about Geelong? I'm like, oh yeah, I did. And then one of them goes, they were fucking shit, mate. <laughs> they were so awful. Not for me, you know, good on you, but I, I just disliked them. But yeah, that was, it was, it was pretty funny. It was all in good nature, but... Jax R.A. Jaxra. Ra Jax. Jax Ra Dog. Um, wrote, when is the next Cade McDonald Big Calls? See, Big Calls is a weird one. It's liked by some, disliked by the other. But that's what Big Calls is about. It's about splitting the public down the middle. Not sure, mate, but um, hopefully soon. Lena wrote, would you rather a brown low or premiership if you're an AFL player? Probably premiership. Um, I'm a team player, I'm such a team player, guys. Nah, I don't know, yeah, just for me, doing it as a team would be amazing. Joe Bears Games, will you do collabs with other YouTubers? Yeah, well, I'm not sure if you called a collab, but me and Twisty did one, played a bit of AFL Live. It'd be fun to play him in AFL Evolution. Yeah, I'd do collabs, I guess, with other YouTubers, it's good fun. Nick wrote, on a scale from Collingwood to fucking amazing, how good is Dustin Martin? He's starting to show what he's capable of, Dusty. Um, He's finally put the top six down and he's um, really starting to perform. I feel like Dusty Martin's best year will be next year when the forward line starts to develop a little bit more and um, inside 50 he can kick it to Ben Brown or, or Lindsay Thomas or, or those type of players. Mr McSavages. <laughs> Favourite D's player ever or at the moment it's Clayton Oliver by an absolute mile. Favourite D's player ever, probably Russell Robinson. Joseph Rope, best grand final moment. Good question Joey boy. Um, oh, Brendan Goddard, Specky. Absolute screamer. A lot of people say that some kid in the backyard took one very similar. Um, and I just, you know, that's that's amazing stuff by that person. Jack McLaren, Macca, is probably your nickname. Would you back for Collingwood for 10 years for 50 million bucks? Absolutely. I love the D so much. So I could put a pies scarf on and go to the G and watch the pies and like cheer them on for 10 years for 50 million bucks. I could do that. but. I s would still love Melbourne more. AJL also wrote, how do you make a parody? How do I make a parody? Well, if you click the little eye button up there, you'll find out. James McGuinness, where did you play in junior footy position? Um, little four pocket of early days, and then got moved down to the back pocket. Some say those two positions are the most important on the footy field. A lot say they're not. Toby, who is your YouTube man crush? Is it Twisty3? Yeah, I love Twisty. Other man crushes? Um, your Joe Wellers, the Theo Bakers, your Calix, those sort of blokes. AFL Glory, what is your most embarrassing moment? Probably not being able to play the Anzac Day like ceremony song at the Werribee Footy Club when I was grand announcing. If Melbourne were kicked out of the AFL, who would you go for and why? Maybe like... Jesus. My cat just got attacked by an absolute wildebeest. 
Oh well, it'll live. I always said the dogs. I'm a big fan of the dogs, but since I won the Premiership, it's sort of like, ah, oh, that's a bit of a mainstream answer, so. Adelaide? Rage quit. Do I play club footy, and if so, what position? I do not. Retired. Um, I don't know, I just got a little bit sick of playing, to be honest, which might sound a little bit crazy, but I, I still love watching and I go to every game I can. But what is the most embarrassing thing you've done on the sesh? I've done plenty of embarrassing things on the sesh, and I've also seen plenty of embarrassing things on the sesh. But what happens on the sesh stays on the sesh. I've said sesh too much. Ethan Nelson, Nelso, what made you start a YouTube account? Wanted to start one for ages. Um, I was just a little bit nervous. What would people think? What do I, you know, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And then I finished my radio course. I was applying for radio work. And then I wasn't getting any radio work. And I talked to one of my lecturers who works at the Fox. And he said, do a podcast or YouTube and because I wanted to do YouTube since I was 15 or 16 I just started putting videos out told two mates they'd critique and get around me and build my confidence up which was just so important at that stage and then I shared the art at shapes video onto Facebook and then everyone knew I was doing it and then yeah people were pretty supportive Maddie wrote can you drop a freestyle rap so I took 15 minutes I cheated a little bit and wrote a couple things down. And I'm bringing out the guitar. Let's do it. Started this YouTube thing about a year ago. Was keen at 16, still had this fear, you know. Held myself back till I thought I was late. I'm just a bloke who was born to create. Alex Williamson, Frenchie, Josh Wade. Watched all these guys and thought, geez, this is great. Made some videos after radio, didn't share them though Didn't really want anyone else to know Done radio, done stand up too The feeling on air or on stage, yeah it's good But building this thing from the ground has been fun Worth it if there is a laugh or just one Is this a career path or hobby, not sure I'll work my ass off to knock down those doors Look up to Waller and Blake and pray sure Work on my craft till I'm hard to ignore You're expecting something funny so here's me blind on the D floor Adrian, how come I go from Melbourne? Um, my dad came over from Scotland in 1964, the last time the D's won a flag, and when he got here, there was just demon stuff everywhere, in the shops, on the streets, and he's like, oh, I'll go for them. And then since then, we haven't won a flag, so... Fuck you, dad. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. Anyway, guys, thanks for all the questions, thanks for all the support. 2,000 subs is pretty cool, and I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, there'll be a new video next week, and I'll see you around soon. Thanks, guys.